Hey, it's Steve Zonardo here with Remax West Zonardo Associates and Treviso Realty. Uh, just a quick update on our latest purchase in Florida. Uh, you guys all know that we bought a, an investment property in February. We took possession a couple weeks ago on, on one property in Fort Myers, and we bought a second property in Southwest Florida. This one's going to be located in a sterile. If you notice, I've been pumping a, um, a subdivision called Verdana Village, and Polte Homes and Lenars is the developers or the builders there, and then Camarada Homes is the developer. Uh, pushing this very heavily because I believe in the community, I believe in the future investment. And uh, lo and behold, a property just sold right now, similar to the, our house uh, that we're getting built currently, and we've already made a three hundred thousand dollar profit off the top. Uh, and I'll show you the the home now. So this is this is the home that. Uh, we basically purchased um, in end of July, and obviously it's under construction. I'm not sure if they have a slab down yet, uh, but it's very it, it is the house. So what this is now is it's at the subdivision across the street from Verdana Village. So Verdana Village and the place at Corkscrew have the same developers, same builders, um, and the communities are basically uh, based around families. Really, really nice uh, set up communities. Uh, difference between this subdivision or this community rather than our community is that this is 1,200 houses and we're going to be 2,400 houses. Our facilities are going to be second to none, like top notch, top grade, over the top. Like we have the uh, one of the first indoor facilities, I think, in Southwest Florida. Um, you know, we're going to have the the beer craft lounge. We're going to have restaurants. The the pool and and areas all going to be chic, elegant, and uh, like more like geared towards adults. The subdivision across the street where this house is located, their uh, facilities there are more geared towards families, really nice. I mean, uh, you can't take anything away from it. It's like great, great pools. Um, they got a waterfall. Like, it's really, really pretty. I can't complain, uh, you know, say anything about it. But I know in the future, our facility will be worth more money than this one. So uh, this is why we've invested across the street. And again, we've already up 300K since the purchase, the sale of this property. And this is uh, Pulte Home, which is our builder also. Uh, this is known as the Heatherton model, which they they rebranded it as the uh, Rosen model in our subdivision going forward. So the only difference is some aesthetics of it. I actually like this elevation better than, than my elevation, uh, but also we got a better, um, more function um, in our property rather than this one. But I'll go through it. And uh, this is basically their pool with the cage, and they're backed on to preserve. We're going to be backed on to a community lake. Um, the only difference between this location and our location is basically they have the southwest um, you know, view, basically, so the sunset. So this is obviously prime real estate, but also this is backed on to preserve here. There's no water back here. So our, our property is going to be on a court, same house, better court, actually, more of a deeper court, like a proper court, more private. And then ultimately, we're backed on to, I believe, 6.93 acre lake, which is quite nice. So ultimately, that's always going to bring more money in the future. Um, but going back to the pool, now we're getting this all priced out. This is a very generic pool. We're going to do something quite nice. Um, if you kind of see this area to here, and I'll show you uh, in a later video, this is only like 8 to 10 feet, which is very, very close to the house. We're going to push our pool all the way back um, right to the property line, and I'll show you. So if you kind of see here, I, I believe this is their property line. We have no property line because I believe there's some barrier like this between uh, us and the lake. So we're going to push our cage right to the back and kind of utilize, um, you know, that space for extra patio and decking. So we're, I think it's between 1,500 to 1,800 square feet of decking uh, with the pool. And, you know, it, like I always say, pool, I would never bought a pool in Canada because it didn't make sense. But ultimately here in Florida, this is like having a finished basement in, in uh, our community here in North America. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do similar to this. We're going to have a sun shelf. We're going to do uh, end to end pool, probably have more space, like walking space naturally. But this whole back wall, we're going to have like sort of like a tier. And then we're going to have two water bowls uh, kind of dripping water over with, you know, LED lights. And we're going to have a few um let's say fountains in the middle and then this side here our, our sun shelf will be on this side and this side we're going to have like a spa which is a hot tub with a 360 spillover like sort of i think they call it a champagne um spa where basically the water kind of drips over the edge so it's kind of cool and um yeah it's pretty much it like the cage our cage will be larger than this and the cage is necessary obviously for bugs and you know you don't want a wild animal in your backyard um yeah pretty cool this was a very generic uh, house. I mean, they got some shiplap here, and I don't think there's much upgrades on it compared to what we did. We kind of we kind of spent like five six hours at the decor center. Uh, drove the, the the poor girl nuts there regarding what we wanted to get to get done. Um, but what we did is we closed this area. This opened to above. We put a loft there. 
Um, this house right now, this model is about 4,500 square feet without the loft. Ours is about 4,700 and change, I think, something around that nature, almost 48, but that's with our uh, closed um, loft, basically. So what this will do is it'll double as a basement, um, what we're used to. So we'll have like a family room sitting area, more of like a, a chill area for the kids. And, and if you want to like watch a movie, we'll have like a theater set up there. Um, again, this, this kitchen, uh, we went flat out on everything. We did group five, like the best of the best, the countertops, and then obviously the appliances, we went flat out. The reality is, is that we know as, as realtors that, uh, you know, are, you're going to make your most money at your feature spot and your feature spot is your kitchen. So you got to spend the most amount of money here in your kitchen and naturally your floors and your primary bathroom, uh, on the upper level. Like these areas need to be filled and, and, you know, spend some money on, um, we have, uh, I think we have patio door. Yeah, we have patio doors over here. We spend an extra here. And then we have these roll away doors. Ours goes right into the wall. Uh, but the good thing is we have this whole area here is like basically all opened up. If you kind of see the back of this house, like the new model, uh, where is it? Yes, this is very generic. We've upgraded all these things, all the kitchen, um, not the kitchen, the bathroom, even the faucets, the countertops, the cabinets, we did everything up. We upgraded the, to uh, the toilets. Yeah. And we, we did, let's see. Yeah. They did the ceiling, roll to ceiling tile for the bathroom. Yeah, this area here. So in our model, this is all cut out. So we have this whole area here, like a portico, but I think it's like 10 to 12 feet. It's a nice space in here. This is where we kind of lose our square footage compared to this model. But this whole area will be all under a portico, under a roof. And then this area here, we're going to do an outdoor kitchen, quite nice. We'll have the pizza oven somewhere here or maybe outside the cage. And then, um, yeah, we'll have some big roll away doors here into a wall, which is nice. And then at this, around this area here, we have uh, pool bath. So basically we have a, a, a door that goes right into the bathroom and also shower. So you don't have to penetrate the interior of the house when you're wet. So you kind of, you know, limit the wear and tear on the property. Um, pretty cool. I mean, for lot size, this is their facility. Really nice. Oh. So just regarding uh, the lot, so this is 18,100 square feet, I imagine. We're at 19,100, so a little bit larger lot. We got an additional 1,000 square feet. Um, and what we're thinking of doing is obviously we're going to build this whole cage out, and then we're going to hopefully build something on the side here. I want to build some, some sort of entertainment uh, on the side. Hopefully we can get uh, permits passed and stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like, you know, amazing. We're up 300K already, which is quite nice. And this is going to be obviously our home that we'll be living in. And uh, we're quite happy and excited. Um, this is our first uh, brand new property that we've purchased and actually had to pick for some uh, decor sense, which is quite cool. We're ready uh, and eager to find to see the finished product. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions regarding investments in Southwest Florida, and if you have any questions why I'm putting so much money in Southwest Florida, if you always reach out. We can always have a quick chat. I can explain to you uh, reasons why we're, we're in this mode right now. And that's it. Have a great day.